Welcome to my channel. Today we are starting with something very new, uh, BPT spotters, both grass, osteo, as well as histology. Histology, I will leave you a link here. See this link, this link, because I cannot show you obviously here. I will start with the osteology. The first is spotter. This spotter, identify the bone and write two points. Remember, just take your time. You have one minute for each spotter. So don't hurry up or write something else. This is not talus. This is patella. The first spotter, patella. You can observe the patellar surface here, the apex and the posterior surface. So this bone very easy, patella. Then next question will be the identify the foramen and structures passing through them. Okay, foramen magnum, the biggest foramen, very easy spotter. This will skip for you in your anatomy, foramen magnum. Then I will, I will skip the slides here, identify the slides. There are 10 slides, mind you. This is just an internal exam. Identify the bone, its sides, and write two points. Okay, this is the bone. This is the tibia. Very easy for us, the sharp uh, anterior border. Tibia, I remember, has something called medial malleus. Let's check how it is. So you just you need to hold it, you know, the facing the uh, anterior border forwards. And so med uh, medial malleus, let's see if this is the leg, right? It should be the left tibia and not, and not the right. So it cannot come to the right side. It is the left tibia. So you write just two points about the, you know, the parts of the muscles attached to tibia, where is the soleus attached, where is the tibialis anterior attached. So this is the left tibia. One more slide. Then identify the specimen and two points. This is the superior lateral surface of cerebrum. I write two points about the sulca and gyra I found here, the lobes, the, uh, you know, the poles found here, as well as a very important thing mentioned about the coverings of the cerebrum. Next. Identify the joint and two points. Very easy. This is the glenohumeral joint. Very easy for you to identify. This is the glenohumeral joint with the humerus here, the scapula, the spine of the scapula. Obviously, the muscles missing here will be the supraspinatus, infraspinatus, and the teres which comes and attaches here. Levator scapula will be in the upper part. This is the, identify the joint. Write only what is the ass. Don't write other things. Identify the probed muscle and two points. This is very, this, this is actually carpal tunnel and the specimen of the hand. You can observe the probe. You know, the question is identify the probe muscle. So the answer should be the pronator quadratus. Pronator quadratus is the muscle here, a typical quadrilateral shape, deep muscle found in this forearm. Identify the joint, hip joint, the body's strongest joint. This is the hip joint. Clearly, we can observe the hip joint present here and uh, the femur, the acetabulum, the pelvis bone. Identify the joint, write two points. You may have to write the ligaments and the muscles associated with this. Identify the joint and two points. This is very easy again. This is knee joint. This is the patella. You can observe here the patella with the patellar surface and the knee joint is a little bit with the femur and tibia here. Yeah, this is just kept like this. This is the femur and this is the tibia and the fibula there. So this will be the knee joint. Scapula, very easy to help spot to identify the exact side. Okay, so please observe this uh, spine. How do you know it? Understand it? the spine should come to the back side. So if uh, it can, it has to be the uh, right scapula. It cannot be the left one. You can observe here. Okay, it cannot be the left one. So it has to be the right scapula. Very easy, we don't have time here to teach you all the side determination. I just go very fast. Identify the probe fossa. Okay, new question here. Identify the probe fossa and two points. This one, this is what it is being kept here. This will be the popliteal fossa showing you the muscles associated with this popliteal region. The gastronomic is present here. And right two points, the popliteal artery where the nerve is dividing the peritibial nerve components. Write it here. And uh, very easy, I will uh, method uh, fossa in the back side corresponding to the cubital from the arm. Identify the muscle in two points, very easy. Nothing else for you to identify in the back. The stomach muscle, gastronomics with the Achilles tendon cut off here. This will be the gastronomics with the uh, medial as well as the lateral head. Identify the specimen and two points. This one will be the carpal tunnel with the median. Now difficult to observe here, but this will be the carpal tunnel and the thenar and hypothenar muscles need to be showing in this side. But uh, this will be the specimen of carpal tunnel and showing all the contents of carpal tunnel. Structures passing through carpal tunnel. Identify the fossa. Okay, the only two fossas. Poplitch will be finished and next one will be the cubital fossa. You can observe the humerus, the carrying angle here and the ulna and the radius present here. So these are the cubital fossa, the boundaries and contents. Please mention the boundaries as well as the contents of cubital fossa. 
And if I the bone, it's side and two points. Very easy, this is the radius, okay? So radius, radius is very easy bone to identify the part of it. So radius has this particular thing, the head, you know, the head, the neck, the radial tuberosity present here, and the medial border, the sharp medial border. This is the radius medial border. So obviously this should be the um, left radius, left radius. Yeah, this is the left radius. Next one, identify the bone, pelvis, very easy, you can make out, it's again the, um, how do you see the acetabulum is facing this side, pubic bone which I'm holding, anatomical position will be something like this, which I'm holding, so this will be the left pelvis, it cannot be the right, please observe, cannot, cannot be the right, the ilium, iliac fossa, observe for the obturator foramen, keep it this way, so it's the left pelvis. Fever, very easy bone to identify. Please observe for it. First, just take in your hand. You can take the dry bones in your hand. Observe. This will be the left again. A lot of left things here. Left femur. It cannot be right. Okay. So it has to be the left femur, the, the direction of the head of the femur going, and the medial and the lateral condyle. So left femur. Humerus. Don't tell me it's again left. Yeah. Again, it's a left humerus. Understanding? can observe for the head where it is pointing towards the glenoid cavity of the scapula and uh, the its uh, trochlea and the cannula, this, this particular capitulum, trochlea, the radial dental tuberosity you can observe. It cannot be uh, right, it cannot be right, so it has to be the left. So this will be the right alna, very easy. You can make out the, it's, this should be pointing forwards. Okay, this is the right alna where the lateral border is facing towards the lateral side. It cannot be the uh, left alna. The lateral border points, just observe for the lateral border in Alna, where it goes, and uh, it's the right Alna. I hope you have understood. More spotters are coming up. Do subscribe to my channel. Lots of things are going to come up.